Last week we took you to one of our favorite spots in the BVI, the Baths, where we had the most spectacular hike between these massive boulders and up ladders and stairs. It was just the most amazing experience ever. Join us this week as we visit a pub that sold over 300 different rums. And then something awful happened. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We are here at Copper Island and we anchored over here and there's a very good, oh, we think it's a very good snorkel site. So we're going to investigate that. And there's the mooring field. Pretty island. Uh, we will investigate a little bit later. Tortolo is that island over there and the road town is somewhere there. Let us get the boards in the water. Uh, Pietro pump this one and the up. <laughs> and she's doing this all by herself. And she has some practice. Row, baby, row. Row, row, the boat is shore. Row, 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 your boat is shore. Nee, 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 nee. I think it was going to add us here. No wonder we weren't going anywhere because the captain's big size 13s were dragging. With Agri. <laughs> so Pietro is doing great. And you guys have no wind mufflers on, so just be happy of the sound that you can hear at least something. Something, something. And I'm just, ooh, just sitting here. <laughs> enjoying, ooh, enjoying the ride. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're getting here, we're getting here. I see a ball coming up. <laughs> yeah, out there, definitely. Yeah, but there are see. big fish over there. Yeah. Big one. <laughs> so, our GoPro 7 was a trusty GoPro now for a very long time. Has decided to die on us. So, we charged the batteries, and I've got two batteries here, and we charged them. Until the lights goes off and we put it in and the GoPro just doesn't want to start. And the batteries are... They look a little bit swollen. So... <laughs> and I feel a little bit soft. So it's time for them to be dispersed. Aye. So... Video making and the boat life <laughs> they are not friends so we've heard that there's over 300 types of rum here i'm looking at the tables in the in the swim area i would say this is the place to be so apparently this is the home of the rum so let's go see but look at these little cute tables in the water. <laughs> it's just 
super cool. Okay, let's go and have a look at the rum stock. So they have craft beer, they have rum. Okay, the coffee shop, uh, we skip that one for now. But <laughs> craft beer and rum. Let's go check it out. Come on, baby, let's check it out. So, we should have used this dinghy dock because this is the rum bar. So this is now the place to be. Just look at this. Look around. And around. It is just good. Look at this view. So Frick decided to try a couple of the plantation range. The first one was from Barbados. Other one going Guyana, Trinidad, Panama, Fiji, and that one was way too expensive at seven hundred and seventy dollars a tot. And up that last one, for obvious reasons, he did not go for that one. So this is basically the end of the night. We normally don't do the end of the night yep. for a very typex reason, but this is now we're on our way back to Sisu. Tonight we're gonna go large, like in extra, extra, extra large. Yeah, we're going to have chicken wings on Sisu. <laughs> so <laughs> we need now to find Tapix. Oh, yes, Tapix, right here. Can you see? Right here. The boats are all in different directions. Yo. Okay, let's go to Sisu. The next day we went to Tortola for PCR tests to check out the beady eyes and unfortunately Bricks came back negative. So we decided to self-quarantine at Mosquito Island, the other property of Sir Richard Branson. It was quite a legal procedure. So they start sending you emails, like three emails and each email gradually bind you more and more to three different laws regarding diseases and especially COVID. So we were kind of like forced with a monitoring agent that is making sure that we stay on the boat. We just left. There is Virgin Gorda and you can still see Mosquito Island over there. Where Richard Branson's the newly acquired island and the sun is about to come up and we are on our way to Tortola the island over there it will take us around three hours to get there and then we're going to do our last provisioning and get PCR tests <laughs> hopefully throw that thing up the nose so and then we will check out hopefully tomorrow out of the British Virgin Islands so yes I didn't see any canaries here no canaries in the Virgin Islands so let us let's make sure that we get a good PCR test so this morning we had to lift anchor when it was still very very early there was no sun yet no light and as you can see here behind me, it's also overcast. There's no moon. The moon is, is, is coming up very, very well. We didn't see the moon. Oh, there is a moon, but it is like really, really way between the, it is, uh, it's a waning moon. <laughs> that didn't give us any light. And um, yeah, with overcast, the, the, it was very dark now here's one for the paper charts guys that comment below I could not have done that on a paper chart so look at this
this is this is Virgin Gorda. So here's the island. Here's a bay here in between that we we anchored. We anchored off there. So that's Mosquito Island, Richard Branson's newest island, or like, and that's Necker, his place where he lives. And we were anchored here. Over there. So we had to come around and get out of this channel here. And it was pitch pitch dark. And we we were forced to be early out of the bay because we need to go for PCR test and we want to get the results back so that we can check out of BVI. So this was the problem. None of these lights were on. No, well, there was one red one on and we couldn't see which one of these multiple red ones and not all of them is there so I think maybe because the, the guys added some more here yeah. because I, I think they have been broken and maintained privately but none of the green ones were on so we couldn't determine which ones of the red ones were not working and we had to get through this little passage here and if you can see that is that is 100 meters over there so the scale is 100 meters so this is maybe what 300 meters across yeah 250 say 300 meters so not a problem for Sisu to get through there and to get past these reefs here and then this cardinal was also not working so we couldn't see that tip of that one there so dead reckoning or not dead reckoning how are you going to triangulate your position here maybe you can use Richard's house here on a mosquito island uh, maybe we can on one of these lights because you don't know which lights there's no lights here to say this is the marina but there's a lot of lights here so maybe you can have a few degrees out and then that one we couldn't see, that one we couldn't see. So that's basically it. In this bay there's no there's no way of finding your way to get out of here. So this 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 is a problem if you have only paper charts. You you need to be awfully precise to get through that little reef there. And even at night, I mean if it was not for one other boat, uh, a water taxi was coming in, he actually shined a torchlight on one of the of the markers that was right in front of me. He knew I'm going to hit that one. And it was really, it was dark. I could see that light after they passed. I could see the marker maybe 50 meters in front of me. We were not going fast because if I'm going to eat something, <laughs> I want to eat something very at a very slow speed. But still, it was for me very daunting getting out of there and I do have a chart, uh, a, a, a lightened up chart that shows my GPS position and I know I've done that route before as you can see those all those purple lines so I was just following the purple lines just check this rainbow okay uh, and this is finally we've got the sunrise look at the prettiness over there shoot so we tied the pigs here at the place called The Bar. It's a very nice bar. Also very good breakfast. Uh, Pietro just came now to tell these guys that we on one of the mooring balls one night. And um, then we off. Oh, it's not The Bar, it's uh, The Pub. The place name is uh, The Pub. So we need to go for a PCR test. Yeah. Over there is those huge Norwegian Ankor. I think they have something like 3,000 guests or rooms or place for people. And they're running at 45% at this moment uh, because of COVID. That's a lot of people. And we still not yet in road town. We're in road town outskirts but not there yet. A 
and here is the hospital. A very big people's hospital. And for the guys that takes UPS, so that's the hospital and the UPS is over here. So you, if you need your package to be delivered here, that's the place for UPS. So we are now getting here to Rautian proper. This is sushi bar. <laughs> downtown around town looks very very busy okay look like we found a COVID testing <laughs> little building here in the parking lot with and look it's even strapped down it's like I have a serious light Forms and forms and forms. Yeah. Lots of forms. Okay. Is it working? Yeah. Thank goodness this time the PCR test both came back negative so it was time to do the last minute provisioning again and we also went to the local supplier for our South African savannas and a quick last painkiller and we went to stock up on more biltong. Staycation. These guys they even speak Afrikaans from South Africa of course and this little butcher shop has boerewors, droewors and boltong. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Ons doen goed en jij? Waar bedankt hè? Ik like your camera. Ach, dan gillen ze al weg. Ach, ons wou weer weg geweest. Nou, dat kan. Ja. Nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this. Yummy, that's the bulltong up there. Thanks for watching, guys, and join us next week as we head for the Bahamas. And remember to like.